Hey Cheesecake Nation, welcome back for the fifth installment of my Age of Extinction Down a Bot review. And this is Scorn. This is the last Deluxe Class Dinobot before Snarl comes out later on this year. And yeah, I gotta say, he's pretty cool. He's a new Dinobot, obviously, for the movie. He's a Spinosaurus. And I gotta say, he looks pretty fucking cool. Uh, he's just an awesome looking Dinobot. Gotta say. Uh, his transformation's a little awkward, like, he stands a little shorter than I would like. But all in all, he looks really cool. I like him. I like him a lot. Let's take a little bit of a closer look here. He's got a nice red going on here. He's got a little bit of orange. Striping going on there. He has some nice silver. He's got some paint shading going on here on the tail. The tail is made out of like that rubbery Oops, sorry rubbery kind of material very soft so aren't his spines over here no they're not sharp or anything so that looks really cool like his uh, like the sculpting on his legs here looks really cool I like these over here, all spiky. I like his bucket head. <laughs> Very cool. That's the Autobot logo there in the silver. Uh, he only comes with one accessory, which is this short sword. It's got a cool little edge there. Good for hooking and whatever. Very cool, very cool. Japanese version, I know, like the blade is silver. It can only fit into his right hand, clearly because his left hand is occupied by his tail lance. The uh, sword, I didn't actually know this before, but the, uh, the lance can, can store his sword, so that's really good. It's not as flush, oh, 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 come on. Not as flush slashes, obviously, because there's part of the look on him, but it hides it pretty good. It's out of the way, not like with the rest of the Dinobots. All right, his articulation is okay. His arms can go all the way up like that, but he has these little weird nubs that hinder the artic arms from going any further out that way. It can only go up that far they bend in that much Whoop. Bend. they have a swivel there then goes up like that all the way around same thing over here it's got the exact same Whoop. his can go a little bit further obviously like that up over there. His head always kind of, I don't know, just the way that it, his head always looks like he's looking down a little bit. You can kind of half it to make him look like he's looking up. He's the only Dinobot I think that can do that. Because all the other ones are kind of nestled. Slug might be able to do that. I'm not sure. Don't really care to look. All right, his hand can go in due to the transformation. Now, I don't know, because the directions say to keep his arm like this. I think that looks kind of weird. Usually just keep it closed like that. Put the little spike anywhere you want. But um, that's that. His legs can go all the way up. Oh my god, camera, what are you doing to me? Come on. Go. Focus is the key. Come on. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. Sorry about that, folks. And 
all the way back like that. Really good range of motion for the legs. His, he can knee up. Oh my god, camera. What are you doing? Making me look bad. Looking me look bad in front of the Cheesecake Nation. What the hell? Stuff like that. Um, he doesn't really have a waist swivel per se. But due to his transformation, he has a side swivel. He can only go like that. Oh, uh, and the head can go 360 degrees. Yeah. Alright. It is beast mode time. So, uh, he's a little interesting. So obviously, you gotta use that swivel to put him like that. You gotta try to line up. Just push his head down and his torso will kind of collapse in on itself. And his spines, like there's a little peg in the back, on his back. Those kind of swivel and they peg into these little holes. Whoops, and they can come off, but it's okay. Everything is copacetic in Dinobot Central. Just kind of put them together. Um, it, it might take a little finagling to get it to line up exactly the way you want. Okay, now this thing, this thing is a huge pain in the ass because if you have it like this, his he can't bend. So you gotta flip it up and the neck, the dinosaur neck can bend. And then once you got it in the way you want, you can put it down. Now one word of advice before I do anything else, you don't want to try and open the dinosaur mouth from the front or else you will get some paint scuffing. I don't know if you can see it. Just right there. You can see the little red coming through. So you gotta open it from the sides. It's kind of, you just got these little spikes and just kind of pull that down. There you go. Alright. And then, everything else is pretty easy. Try to get the legs. You flip the that one toe all the way up. All the way back to create a middle toe. Bring out both sides. Flip these little flaps up. And then you gotta make sure the tail is flat like that. And his cod piece in robot mode. Was that was that that what? Yeah. Flip that up and there's a little tab for that to pop into. It just kinda rests there. And in this whoop, oopsie. And this open space right there, you want to put that over there so it just kind of fills that spot up. So you want to try and push it in an odd way. And you got to try and bend the knees to make it look like a natural dinosaur stance. So bend the knees forward and then back. And then take, I mean, they show this like this little back part for like the, for his back skirt dealy. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be, but I keep the legs there cause they just kinda stay in there. So just take those off. And you can see there's a tab right there that it, this just kinda clicks into. And there you go. That's pretty much how he's done. Gonna move the legs a little bit, you know, adjust it so he looks like he's in a natural pose. Which is kind of hard to do just because he's. It's the way that he transforms is a little awkward, but. You're still gonna get a little bit of resistance there but I like his neck I like the fact that it can go from side to side like that so you can get a good range of motion I have to go all the way up like that due to his hand transformation but I think he looks really cool I think he's a badass looking Dinobot and I highly recommend this figure I think he's one of the cooler 
looking down a box. Obviously his tail can go all the way up like that and it just kind of freely pegs into his crotch area there. I almost forgot like in robot mode the back of his like thighs or calves or whatever the hell you want to call it they open up like that you just close them when you put them in dinosaur mode uh, his tail is a little heavy so you have to try and figure out how to counter counterbalance him you know to get him to stay up straight it, it can be done like you don't have to get him to look perfectly it is kind of hard to do though, I'm not going to lie. But he still looks really cool. I really like him a lot. His arms can go up and down like that. Out to the sides. Yeah. He looks super cool. Scorn's a cool name too. I like that name for the Dinobots. All the Dinobots look pretty freaking sweet. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Dinobots assemble. And here are all of the Dinobots standing next together. Uh, if I had a flight stand, I'd probably put Strafe on it. But God, I love these figures, man. I think they are freaking fantastic. I think they are awesome, I think they are cool, and I highly recommend them for any Transformers fan, young or old. They just look amazing together. Uh, like I said, Slash kind of stands out a little bit. Like, he doesn't have as much of the chrome silverish gray paint as the other guys do. In fact, he doesn't really have any except for his teeth. But by God, I think these are awesome figures. I love them all. I'm so happy to have them in my collection. So, let me know what you guys think of my reviews. Let me know if there's anything I can do to improve the way I review the figures. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, obviously. Hit me up at superchudgefunk at gmail.com or at doublefistedcheesecake at gmail.com. If you guys have any figures you would like me to review, let me know. And I mean, if I ha if I have them or if I don't have them, obviously, or if or if you have any questions, please let me know. God, I have so many figures that I plan on reviewing, both part of my collection and Dave's collection. You know, my buddy Tommy has a bunch of figures. Um. God, and plus there's so many that I actually plan on getting. Obviously, sl uh, Slog, not Sludge, but Slog is another Voyager class Dinobot that's coming out. Snarl is another Lux class Dinobot. Those will be the last two Dinobots we get later on in the year. Um, I'm going to start doing some more figures from other various Transformer waves. I'm going to start doing something called Beast Wars Wednesdays, where I take a look at an old Beast Wars figure. And every Wednesday, those are my personal favorite figures of all time. Obviously. <laughs> but, um, I gotta say, guys, I'm so happy I can be doing this for you guys. Um, if you want to see reviews on all of these guys... Um, if you don't, if you want to get like a second opinion, uh, I'll put a link in some links in the description to a guy named Shardimus Prime. You guys might like him. He's been doing this for a while, so his equipment and just you know he's he's been doing it for a while, so he's a little bit better than I am because I just started out. But thanks so much again, guys. Please become a member of the Cheesecake Nation today. Keep on collecting. Please keep on geeking out. Catch you guys later.